What's going on everyone? Vince the Longineer here. We are installing the smartest, most accurate, most precise irrigation system on the market right now. And we're doing it in a very short weekend here all by myself. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to trench, pipe, install the heads, and backfill one of these ear green systems. And if you stick around for the entire video, I have a gift for you. All right, so this is video number two of our complete ear green installation. I'm showing you exactly everything you need to do to install an ear green system. If you're looking for that playlist, I will leave it linked down below in the description. So we are installing an irrigation system. Our last video was more of an introduction to irrigreen and some general planning you need to consider when you know purchasing a system like that some of the things you got to measure and you know placing heads and stuff like that considering for future improvements so that you don't plan your irrigation line in the path of those improvements and today we are at a point where we are ready to start trenching and what we have here is a 12 to 13 inch pull behind or walk behind trenching machine. Pick this up from Sunbelt Rentals. So when you're renting a machine like this and doing some of the trenching yourself, there are definitely a few things that you wanna consider before putting that blade in the ground. One being the one call system. There's probably a one call system or a call before you dig hotline number, 811, 611, whatever it, whatever it is in your area that you may need to call a couple days in advance before digging in the ground. Another thing you wanna consider are utilities that maybe the one call system doesn't have on file. Things like drainage structures like this one right here. There's a pipe in the ground there and it's not very deep. So you wanna do your best to locate those and if it's crossing where your trench is going to be, you wanna make sure you're hand digging in those areas so that you avoid damaging it with this machine. The sun's about to go down here and I only have this rental till the morning, so I better get to work here, let's go. It's getting dark here. We're gonna finish the rest of this trenching under the cover of darkness, but I'll see you in a split second. And just like that, we are back. The trenching is complete and we are ready to start laying down some of our PVC pipe for this irrigation system. Let me show you what it looks like over by the backflow preventer. All right, so we've already started putting down our PVC pipe. I wanna talk about this setup right here real quick. And from a winterization perspective, I ended up adding this guy right here. This was a little bit of an afterthought. Originally, I had them install this guy right here so I could pressurize the system and winterize everything, but that would have meant pressurizing through the PVB right here. And I was thinking I really shouldn't do that. And I was reading into it a little bit more. So what I ended up doing was putting this guy in right here so I can hook up my hose, my air hose at this point, pretty much turn this off after this is all drained and then hook up to here to blow everything out. So the next step here is going to be putting together all of this pipe and then pressurizing things and starting to flush things out.
right, so we were able to get all of the pipe in. Moment of truth, we turned all the water on. I checked, no leaks, thank goodness. And we should have water coming out of here. If I can get this valve open. <laughs> there it is. We've got water. All right, now we are ready to install our Irrigreen system. Let's get right to it. All right, so two very important steps here. One is to make sure you flush out the line for a good three minutes or so to make sure all of the dirt, debris, maybe dried up glue or anything like that is flushed out of the line so it does not clog the system. Actually, if you don't flush the line, it will void the warranty. The second thing is do not backfill yet. We still have to put the cables that go all the way to the controller. So backfilling is really gonna be the very last thing we do after we've tested everything and everything like that. All right, so we have our box of goodies here and I wanna go over a couple tips with you when you're unboxing some of this stuff and preparing to install everything. First off, when you take an ear green head out, it's going to be, the rubber bands are gonna be holding the cables all together. Just keep everything together because when you thread on to the flex hose, you know, you wanna be able to just thread it on and not have to worry about these cables flopping all over the place on you. Two, if you wanna go a little more quickly, take these cable locks off, put all nine heads in, and then as I'm running the cables, then I will come back and attach all these clips to all the cables. The other thing is it's pretty color-coded and uh, relatively foolproof. Um, they all daisy chain to one another, so, but this is the most important one. The red one is the one that goes back to the controller. So keep that in mind. One other tip about that red color code, it's not going to be red to red. It is going to be red to black, but the color direction, the red always points towards the controller. So you can't really mess it up, but just make sure you've got that, you know, uh, nailed down here because if you put it backwards for whatever reason, you know, you're gonna be, uh, you're just gonna have to rewire everything. It's also worth noting that you only want to apply the PTFE tape on the straight side of the flex hose fitting. Uh, on the side that has the elbow going up to the ear green head, you do not want to put PTFE tape there. There is already a O-ring on the ear green head and you just hand tighten that head onto the fitting until it compresses that O-ring and that is all you need to get a good seal on that fitting. Another thing to note, and I'm telling you this because I just made this mistake, so don't do what I did. Each one of the heads will be numbered. That matters. Those numbers on the heads are the digital zones. So when you go and open up the app, uh, it'll correspond to the digital zone on the app. Not only that, but in the control box, if you have more than eight zones, we have nine. All right, these are the two wires coming into the box. One is labeled for zones or digital zones one through eight. The other is labeled for digital zones nine through 16. They come in, nine through 16 is over here. One through eight is over there. You need to put all eight heads, the first eight heads on this line. Um, in my case, I accidentally put head number two on the line coming from nine through 16, and I got an error code saying that there was an open line in the wiring and it wasn't closing. So, you know, I was able to fix it, share that with you guys so that you guys don't make the same mistake. All right, so this is basically what a buried setup will look like. So. We've got all of our cable organized in that valve box right there and then everything connecting to the head. Now we have the head set at the depth that we want it. Basically what I did here was I hold the head in place with my hand and kind of with my other hand kind of scoop some of the dirt in to set the head, wiggle the thing around till I feel 
pretty good about it being level and, and set at the grade that I want it to. But I don't completely bury it because I wanna make sure I can go and test everything out. All right, so all of the heads are in, all of the cables are connected and in the trench. Now what we're gonna do is make sure there are no leaks at that connection point through the flex hose and the elbow going into the head unit. If we're all good there, then we can turn on the system and start looking for error codes and things like that. Um, I would recommend holding off on backfilling everything here until you've had a chance to at least set up the heads in the ear green app and make sure that there are no error codes, no like open line type errors or things like that where a wire connection could be off because you wanna be able to fix that stuff while the trench is still open before you backfill. All right, and just wanna show you guys kind of the final setup here of what things look like at the control box and the backflow valve here. I'm gonna get another valve box uh, to coil up all that wire and bury that right there. Um, but we did get an electrical outlet installed, approved for outdoor use for the transformer there. Um, and then previously I had the ear green controller mounted up there, that was temporary, but now I have it mounted right there on the house so that the cables can kind of come down the back side of the pipe here and into the ground. Um, and that's what it looks like. So everything is working, no error codes. I mean, we did reposition a few heads like I mentioned earlier, but we are at a point now where we can backfill all of this and sort of be done with this project. Um, like I said, in the next video, we will be going over all of the setup in the app and calibrating heads and things like that. So make sure you are following along for that video to come out. Also, since you've stuck around this long, really appreciate you guys. Wanna make sure you guys get the code for a free gift if you are interested in purchasing Irigreen. Use the code LONGINEER to get a free Irigreen head with your purchase. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for joining.